be able to articulate the difference between discrimination and exploitation. Be able to model them, of course. You know what the models look like. Uh, and if you'd like me to pull one up, I, I'm happy to. Remember that, um, in fact, I, I need to pull one up. Our model is going to look something like this, where we have an upward sloping labor supply curve, downward sloping marginal revenue and product of labor curve, separated from labor demand, and I actually wrote that backwards, I apologize. Marginal revenue and product of labor is out to the right of labor demand in a non-competitive market. And here, we don't have a marginal expense, so we're not subject to marginal expense of labor equal marginal revenue and product of labor. That's a profit maximizing condition. We've already said that uh, discriminating employers are not profit maximizers. So we're relying upon this relationship, labor demand, labor supply, giving us some labor discrimination, setting some wage and discrimination, but also that number of uh, labor workers gives us some MRP of L. And we know that the MRP of L would equal W star if labor demand was with marginal revenue product of labor, and that would be indicative of a competitive market. And we know that MRP of L minus the wage that we see <coughs> discrimination is equal to some dollar cost of discrimination, which is stays in the hands of the firm, but the firm typically, by virtue of having fewer workers, has less overall surplus, and we have a dead weight loss that you could model. And that's, uh, in a nutshell, some of the elements of discrimination are probably meaningful for us. Uh, there are various kinds of discrimination. Gender, um, race, age, uh, persuasion, political, theological, whatever persuasion, ideological. There's discrimination from employers, from fellow employees, from customers. But they all model the same way. How does a, um, how does a customer discrimination fit within this model. I don't see a customer here at all, do you? So Catherine, you're my manager. And Bailey came in and said he wanted to deal with somebody that wasn't one of those ball guys, not one of those guys. And you let him, you go ahead and, and sent him to Naval Cox instead of to me. He's the discriminator, right? but you didn't challenge it, stop it. We can model it here. That's the competition. Could that employer be held liable for that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so if, uh, if, if I'm the worker and I complain and the employer doesn't take uh, corrective steps and it happens again, without question. So even at the expense of losing that customer? Absolutely. Yep. 